Well, boys and girls, welcome back. Part 4, 1938. No step back, new DLC, Hearts of Iron. And here we go, the 5th of January. What happened? Well, I'll uh, make it very short resume. We lost six mountain divisions in Spain. But we gained some uh, experience on leaders. We uh, are messing around with the... We're going historical. And now we're doing the five-year plan. So um, what's going to happen in 1938 is we're going to think long and hard on how many civilian factories factories we want before we uh, pull over and okay now we could do tank designer is that, is that what we want to do okay so this is a hard choice because I could either save on political power by waiting until 1940 40 41 Or I could increase research speed on how many techs would that be? On on this one, on this one, on these two. Because I have to research this before I sign, do that stupid um, focus. So then I would only get the the advisor for fifteen for fifteen uh, political power. I would lose research bonus on two and a half. And and these armor plates. No, I'm going to uh, assign an arm advisor. Uh, maybe there's a better one, better advisor, but I, I can't think of one. So, because um, research time is really critical, because of my uh, the elite difficulty, which is was it thirty percent. So we have the heavy tank, armor, and heart attack. Okay, that's nice. I like armor and hard attack. Uh, soft attack and armor, I like that too. Mm, this one has, I thought they all had the same armor research speed. Conversion speed bonus, no. Equipment capture, land equipment, exp land equipment experience cost, machine building plan. I don't know what is this rely okay you get reliability five percent that's nice here we have reliability and soft attack and here we have max speed and okay we're not gonna go with max speed I want combat capabilities um, I don't know how important I know you have like very high reliability so five percent doesn't seem that much I know you have very high armor values which is good. If you have a bonus on it, you gain a lot of armor. Like if you have a hundred, you gain five armor, which is nice. How important is your hard attack? How important is soft attack? How important is wait? What's re reliability? I think I'm gonna go with one that has armor bonus. So I just have to decide whether I should go with hard attack or soft attack. And to be honest, I think I need to check a, a tank uh, model. Like the... How do, you do I do that? I Production. If I click the KV-1, can I... Ch oh yeah, okay. So armor is 72. What is the hard attack? 15 and 15 soft attack. So that's not a lot. The really low values, the the soft and hard attacks. Huh. In general, I mean. <coughs> so this hard attack, because piercing is important. Because if you don't pierce, you don't make any damage. What is land equipment? Is that like uh, rifles and, and machine guns? Experience cost? Wait, is that is that like when you upgrade a model, you gain 10% less cost? Capture range conversion speed. I don't know. I don't understand this one. But it is very mysterious. It's very mysterious. Uh, Now, you could consider this. 
if it was piercing, I would be inclined to take heart attack piercing. But what are our tanks going to fight the most? Is it heart attack, heart target tanks? That might be the most important target. When they fight tanks, it might be the most important. But I think they're going to shoot at uh, infantry more in general. Kind of depends. Are we going to design uh, tank destroyers that fights defensively versus tanks in open terrain? Or are we going to design uh, uh, like T-34s, medium tanks that attack infantry in open ground? Well, probably both. Don't know which one is going to be the most. But I am inclined to take the soft attack. Isn't soft attack like the most important value in the game? I don't have the experience to know that. But we're gonna go with Okmo. Did Okmo design the T-34s and Kirov? Kirov I know is the K K KV-1. That I... I Astrov? Oh, maybe models. I don't know who designed the T-34s. Which design bureau. Someone can tell me in the comments. That would be interesting. I'm gonna go with Okmo. It has the maximum armor research, research speed, has armor, which I definitely like, and soft attack. There we go. And now we will, we kind of can skip on the war machine. What's it called again? Where is it? The war machine focus, superior war machine. Because, sure, it's nice with the research bonuses, but the t tank designer cost, this will come later. Oh. I'll get a T-34 variant for free when I do this. What does that save? Uh, army experience? I mean, why? Wh wh what do I save by not having to design it myself? I don't know. Historical... Uh, oh, am I at the maximum? I am. All right. Okay, okay, okay. I need to start spending command power. So we're gonna keep it paused. We're gonna go to... The only thing I can think of is... Um, so do I want unyielding defender? Defense 10%? Or do I want defensive doctrine? Entrenchment. Which is best? Defense? I think... I think 10% uh, defense is better than uh, entrenchment. So let's go with that. Can't pick any more. So I have to burn off some uh, command power. So he's going to be unyielding defender as well. What else? Uh, Tukhachevsky, we're not going to spend because Yegorov, did I? What, what can he be? He can also be a. He's plus one defense already. It's very good. Yeah, let's make him. Let's do this. Let's go with it. I mean, oh, you see, he can have defense to create. He's a really good field mar marshal. I'm going. I'm going all in on uh, on defense. As you, as you, uh, maybe you noticed. Blue, Bluker. Um, same here. Okay, but he's an organizer. Maybe this is my, and he has a little bit better attack. So maybe this guy is like the the front army group, fast planner, thorough planner. You know what? This is really hard. This is such a hard choice. But honestly, sure, it would be nice to, in fast operations, plan faster. It would be nice when you really when you when you launch your operation. It's it's more powerful. My little experience tells me that certain areas on the map have a pretty low low uh, supply capa capabilities, so that it might be better to have be able to load up a lot of troops in an area. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make him a logistical wizard. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna save and see. I didn't know. It. Okay, so c can you assign one per level or something? Um, I mean, I could make him even better at attacking, since he is my attack field marshal. I could make him better at reinforcing, or I could make him like a harder initial punch. I think maybe. 
this will uh, benefit me always when attacking this is only right before attacking after and it's not certain that you can plan to the max okay so we're down to a hundred uh, maybe should waste to oh sorry I need to go I need to go into an army commander who else has traits to assign see I'm a little bit hesitant to give these guys um, winter I should Primakov what the hell he's a cavalry leader I was actually planning on building some cavalry uh, so he could either be cavalry defense or combined arms expert you know what I think he's gonna be a cavalry expert I don't think I'm gonna build a lot of motorized and mechanized because it's too expensive and R Germany's not gonna crush me so he's gonna be better at defending with cavalry that makes sense right 15 okay that's it for him I, I you know I love the leader traits don't get yes so oh here's Lister he's a r he's a really good leader isn't he oh Need, we need to check these traits. Is that the oh yeah, military high command. Mm, okay. Oh, maybe I should assign. Sh okay, I just put Shuko in my tank corps here. That that was not. Um, wait. Preferred tactics. I could give him a preferred tactics now. But we'll examine that a bit later. Now I was thinking about the officer corps. Could I make Shukov? I don't know. An entrenchment specialist. He's an already an advisor. Chief roles are only assignable to field marshals. Okay, so if I assign any old stupid field marshal, can I do this from the art new here? Mm, generals? So maybe I made a bit of a mistake here, here. cuz maybe you should um assign right from the start you put a cop I I could make him he's already an advisor is he chief of army I'm sorry uh I thought I had Timoshenko assigned. All right. Uh, he is already an advisor. How I is that? Так, точно. What? So, Yegorov. He's an available as an advisor. Mm -hmm. But he is already an advisor. Is he assigned as this automatically as the first available field marshal and I don't have to do it manually? Is that what happened? Because now I think, oh, he's not skill four. Because then I would have gotten uh, more army experience daily. Okay, that would have been nice. So maybe I, sh I should have made him level four in Spain instead of uh, leveling up my low level guys. Okay, but you live and you learn. But I don't understand how he became an advisor here. But but I guess that's good. Um, do we have any? I'm just gonna make a new field marshal here. Uh, well, they have to be okay. So Tukhachevsky, oh yeah, of course. Let's see. I could make him an aggressive assaulter. And I think he's gonna disappear. But okay, he is not available. Reckless infantry officer, fancy doctrine. Right. So let's see. He has four skill. So couldn't I arm him? He he is available as an advisor army offense specialist right uh no 
he's already an advisor. I don't understand this, but uh, I'm sure there's an explanation. So is it because he is an advisor? Oh, now I th okay. I think I get. I, I think I got this. If you have a leader, a field marshal, and he's not an advisor here already, you can put him in a slot where I was in that other menu, and then he becomes available here to place there. But you can only use one of them. So like, he's available to be used here. I see. Why I have no political power? I don't know why. Where did it go? Well, at least we're not wasting any command power any longer because we spent it on some trades. Uh, please remind me when it, it caps up at 108 again. Do we need to reorganize the army? Nah, not really. Do we need to train any air forces? Yeah, maybe that. Maybe for f for um. Uh, ooh, look, conspiracy in the academy. So we can make our air force bad. Sure. Let's do that. Let's go with seventeen percent paranoia in in Russia, because we have nothing. We have no political power. We have. We have no advisors. We have nothing. Right. Didn't I? Okay. Well. Here's the thing. We're early 38. I think I'm going to build civilian factories at least until half 38. Then we'll consider. Why a even more? Okay. I don't mind. Uh, I gained a lot of infrastructure somewhere, yeah, down here in s the so-called Stalingrad, which is now 80. So let's pretend that the higher the infrastructure, or whatever this is, railroad level, the faster you build uh, factories. So there we go. I'm sure you can see this somewhere. You can see that 15 factories is, is construction. You can see, oh, here it is, here it is. Construction speed, 144. Construction speed, 162. So I don't know exactly what construction speed is. Is that like the 15 factories benefits 162 points per day, I guess. So the more, the higher the infrastructure, the more construction speed you have, the faster you build. So it makes sense to build in high. All right, that's good. Uh, I kind of knew it. We have a tank designer. Do we? Yeah, we do. Alkmo. So why? Yeah, sure, of course. Let's just uh, let's go with the heavy tank. Because we need heavy tanks. And medium tanks. I'm not. I'm never gonna be able to afford to build both. It's just stupid. <sighs> Five-year plan. That gave us two more factories. Great, 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 great. So what do we need to do? Maybe we should push on with the purges and get rid of them. Uh, obviously, I don't know. Tankograd, that's nice. Here again comes up land equipment experience cost. I don't know what that is. Means to wage war. Ooh, material designer cost. Support. What, what is support technology? Don't know. So, could we improve the railway network? Sign company. Okay. 
You know, I just I just have a feeling national specialist. Wow, that makes my industrial concern 50% cheaper. Wow. That's nice. Um, thing is, in 35 days, I can't afford it even at half price. So it really doesn't matter. Well, okay, what's the foreign experts? Oh, there's something with rail. Ooh, that will give me more factories faster, 5%. Okay, so either I. Urals. Civilian, civilian. Eastern. Vladivostok. Oh, I don't care if I build. I mean, two civilian factories are nice, but I don't care if they are in. Okay, this would give me another research slot, would it? No, this one. No. Okay, this is new. What happened? So basically, I want to come down here to get research speed and research slot yes okay this would be very nice 35 days 35 days it's it's half a year so okay so this helps me research um, industrial stuff but this helps me build more factories and these seems to be the same except where they Chelyabinsk or in Vladivostok, Khabarovsk. I mean, who cares where you set up? Oh yeah, you could lose these from uh, a Japanese invasion. Whereas I'll tell you what, Chelyabinsk and Slatust, they're in the interior of the, of the Urals. You know what? I think I'm going to go with foreign experts. I don't care about the Stalingrad tractor factory. Consumer goods? would be nice industrial research speed would be nice but I prefer to build more factories okay who's the design company gas project Scott three oh it's a design company design company for what design company f what is a design company Design can be upgraded to add new bonuses and improve existing ones. What? What? Oh, these make the design bureaus better. It modifies the following industrial designers. Oh. Okay, so I think we had to check. Uh, oh, to me, it seems that it modifies by exactly what they already read out as. And since this one gets minus two consumer goods, It makes this a little bit better than what it already is. But this is exactly the same. Okay, so maybe they're not available now. The uh okay, this one isn't available, but these ones are. Okay, let's check the Leningrad one. Electronics. I'm sorry, this is slow, I know, but if you're new to the DLC, I guess maybe you'll learn something if you haven't bought it already. Leningrad supply consumption minus two. So it makes Leningrad better. It makes mobilization. Okay, so 
this upgrades the design bureaus. But as far as I see, oh, and it makes this one available. It doesn't improve them. Right, right. So do I want better ones? Or do I want to open up this one? Well, here's the thing. I'd, I'd rather, I I'd don't know if Japan's going to attack me in the DLC. So I like having my factories in Urals. And I also like having civilian and military factory construction speed go up better than I like this route. So we're going to go with foreign experts. Should I do the purges? I don't know. Maybe. What else? Now we have no tank bonus any longer. But I just feel that I want to... No, it's 1938. Oh, right. Yeah, we need to go with... Uh, hmm. I mean, it's nice to have more factory output, for sure. But I'm not that worried. I'm not building anything interesting at the moment. So it's not my main concern. But research speed is. It's going to take 300 days, which is like 10 months. It's very slow. But, yeah, let's do that. Just going to check how long time it's been. Oh, oh, half an hour. Here we go. Yeah. You know, I should probably look into my army and my air force. Admiral Levchenko accused of treason. Uh huh. I'm not gonna pay sixty. Uh, I'm not gonna pay sixty political power to save any navy man. No way. I should. I should move my navies around a bit. Oh, I could do that. Um, okay, I, apparently I have built... There we go. I'm building two cruisers, Kirov class. I like designing ships, it's very fun. Uh, but I'm not playing naval power now. So we're not going to care about that. Hey, what happens? I need to check out the purges. What happens after I go for this? Oh, it's 70 days. The block of rights and Trotsky. It's uh -huh. Thirty-five days, thirty-five days, seventy days, seventy days. So it's like hundred forty, two hundred ten days. That is ten months. Behead the snake. Okay. I'm all. I'm forgetting about this. Uh, we're gonna create the agency now. NKVD. Is that who? That looks cool. I don't know what it is. Um. And we're gonna do this seventy days. Wait. Yeah, let's do it. Seventy days. Okay. Uh thirty-eight. I would like Okay, let's go industry. What is this? Modify our officer core. So that pops up every time I get 50 political power because that's the cheapest advisor now. Before every advisor cost 150, but now they made them dependent on how skilled they are. But that's nice. I like that. Uh, that's a good. That's a good change. Now we have a general Golikov. He is skill three, but he doesn't have any interesting traits. You know, honestly, I'm not super interested in saving this guy. He's not bad, but I have plenty of other leader. Okay, so he would he would be 
cowed by Stalin, which means division recovery rate, reinforce rate. I mean, obviously, I want to get rid of paranoia, right? I'm at 55%. At so this makes him worse, the Golikov, and up to two army leaders would get the trade cowed by Stalin. Okay. It doesn't give me a result, but I guess one or two generals are now cowed by Stalin. Uh, okay. Yay! Right, we have to look into... I I haven't played a lot of uh, Vivla Rastrisal, so... Um, operations, where... Oh, here we go. Wait, what? Operations? I mean, they all... There's five... Wait, two there. Okay. Okay, it opens up the same menu. It's just... All right. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I got it. It's just... Mm -hmm. Um. I think we're going to have a pretty basic... I think we're going to go with... Army intelligence, for example. Oh, is that only one? It used to be three levels. All right. Do we want to train a lot of... Uh, oh, it seems like there are fewer... You see, here's three. Passive defense. Counterintelligence. Antipartisan, we don't care about that. I mean, this is a nice one. Does it take 27 days? But we don't need it now, army. I don't know. I don't know what army intelligence is. Oh, is that to check like the national folder of Germany and see how many troops they have? Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's decryption. That's more interesting. I mean, the thing is, fifteen. That's very expensive. Localized training centers. Unlocks local agents recruitment decision. How many operatives can I have? I'd like to recruit one. Oh, we are recruiting one for free now. Psychological warfare. It's diplomatic training. I mean, what do I want to do? I, I, I kind of don't want to waste civilian factories on this at all, if I could avoid it. Um, do I want to steal blueprints from Germany? I mean, m or maybe another nation, like Italy. Um... Here's the thing. Do I want to trade industrial build-up for a bit fast, potential faster research? It only takes 27 days. I think it took a long, I, I think it took a longer time before the DLC. Okay, well, I have an NKVD guy, Yetsov. Hmm. Huh. Let's, let's do this. There we go. Wait, what? What happened? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. See, now we almost have to spend some more command power. I wish someone could remind me, what do you use command power for? It's used for various military operations and promotion of generals. It can be spent on one-time operation. Right. Uh, okay, now we get Beria. And he's he's as bad as the guy there in uh, in place, I think, isn't it? Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Well, actually, I think he's even he's he's better than the other guy I had before. So can he be removed? Cannot be manually replaced or removed from post until the Great Purge has concluded. Then we can get rid of him. All right. Well, he's not worse than the other guy. Weekly gain is 4%. <laughs> I 
Oh, Stalin he gives two percent now. He he only gave uh, one percent before. What are those? The guys that are dead? Are these the purge guys? Hmm. All right. <laughs> um. You know what? This costs a little bit of consumer goods. It only costs twenty-five, and uh, I think we have to do this. All right. <laughs> it's so hard to gain political power. I'm star. I'm so starved of political power. Oh yay! Basic heavy tanks. All right. Uh, hundred days. Yeah, let's go with that. We'll keep one slot making armor of our impressive three slots. Look at our advisors. Uh, no more Spanish growers. Okay, an operative can now be recruited. They're all lev they're all skill one. We could have a Hungarian guy, which is good at coups. Huh, a coup in Hungary. All right. I could get Kim Philby. Uh, Sorge. Wasn't he in Japan, Sorge? He, yeah, I guess. I think, okay, so he's a German. Uh, trade mission, diplomatic pressure mission. Could we use him to pressure Japan to not attack us in Siberia? Yeah, and he's better at operating in Germany. Okay, let's get him. Do him. Okay. And now we have blueprint stealing. What I would like are uh, some more operatives. But it doesn't seem to be... You know, you used to have, like, uh, recruit more operatives. This gives one more recruitment choice. Uh huh. Local agent recruitment decisions. I think I have to read this. I think this has changed. What are local agent recruitment decisions? Is that like a random. You know what? It seems like you have to research this to be able to increase the amount of spies you have or operatives and you don't manually research slots like you used to do and I know 10 but it's only 30 days and it's kind of nice to have more spice let's just do that okay and let's start increasing how do I do this I wanted to build an Intel network in uh, in Berlin right that's what you do. Yay, okay. So we have a 1938, our first spice on the map. Pretty sure. Uh, Russia had more spice than that. But we haven't spent a lot on uh, spice, and I'm good with that, uh, actually. <laughs> Yay, workers dictatorship. So now we could. Um, yeah, let's go. Have another perch. See what happens. So, let's check our Air Force. 125. Ooh. Okay. Of course. We're gonna do this. We get civilian factory construction speed and military factory construction speed. And it only costs a hundred. Why is it that this costs a hundred and these cost hundred and fifty? I'm I'm not complaining. Because I had to sacrifice a a focus to get it. I don't know, but uh, I'm very happy to take it. Great. Yay, look. We have a construction company. So excited. 
and we're actually up to 67 owned factories. We have eight coming in from abroad, if I get, if I understand this right. But why? Oh yeah, 49 goes to consumer goods. 10 goes to spying. So we only have 16 building up our national industrial base. Oh, uh, I really, how do I get rid of consumer goods? This is it, oh, I need to change the laws, don't I? Shit, I should have done that a long time ago, probably. Why, can I go to early mobilization? Thirty-five. Oh, it's only five percent, but five percent is better than nothing. What else is there? Export focus, volunteer only. Jesus, how am I gonna have? How am I gonna uh, be able to afford? Okay, so okay, my next thing to do is probably get rid of some consumer goods. Oh, but it makes. Oh, I should. Okay, I should have done this a long time ago. Because it would make 20% faster to build factories. Shoot! That should have come before that stupid tank designer. Idiot. Okay. Well. Yeah. How much do I gain? Okay, come on, come on, come on. Well. Alright, um, I cannot infiltrate anything because I need 50% at least, is that it? No, I need two operatives as well. Okay, and how do I get two operatives? You can get the first slot by building an intelligence agency. Other slots will be available after the fifth upgrade. Huh? Or after assigning elusive gentleman as advisor, okay. So I need a fifth upgrade to, uh, okay. And by upgrade, I think they mean this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go for cheap ones that I think are necessary. Radio interceptions, decryption. That's how well I see enemy troops. Has completed agency after form department. Okay, I need to form the department. This gives me. All right, let's do that. There we go. So basically, I am spending as much resources, half as much resources, as building up my in industry, un industry as I do in inspire my team. Yay! Okay, great purge. Try the generous. Now Tukhachevsky is gone. That doesn't that doesn't seem to be a random or a choice any longer. If you do the purges, Tukhachevsky is gone. Well, it's a good thing we didn't spend any. Oh, Blucher is good, uh, gone as well. Didn't we upgrade him? Yeah, we did. Up to five army leaders will get to trade cowed by Stalin. Worst the recovery rate, the worst the reinforce rate. That would pay the price. Now, I would like political power as fast as possible, which I get from this, but I can't. Okay, how about this? This gives me 50 political power in a month. Yeah. Let's go with that. That's my main priority right now, political power. I mean, I am very hobbled by uh, research for the difficulty level. The elite difficulty gives 30% research. And I gain a few days from my tank uh, construction company. So I, I, I weakened my industry a little bit and I increased my research a little bit. Um, it's not the end of the world. You are, it's really, you don't have a lot of political power to play around with Munich. Okay, so yeah, we're now on the Munich Agreement. Anschluss, Form Department, right. Uh, I need five of these to get two operatives. 
I what's this? Cryptology and decryption decryption power. Okay. I think I'd like a bit of decryption here. Right, let's do this. Well, come spy mode. Now we're not going to do that. Right, September 38th. We're still building civilian factories. We're not training our air force. We're not reorganizing our army. I think I have to do that off screen after this uh, session. And this session has lasted now for 45 minutes. So we'll go keep going for another quarter of an hour. Try to make it. Uh, so before part five, I will have to do some map because in a way, a little bit, I should prepare, uh, set up my armies and the air force for for Finland and the Baltic states and Poland. Um, I don't want to do that on screen. No enemy cipher is being decrypted. Could I decipher Finland? That's not how you do that. Um, Click on a map to add a country as a decryption target. I have 12. Oh, that's what decrypt decryption is for. It's, it's going to take three years. <laughs> okay. I thought decryption was how to see German troops on the map after they invade me. Okay, well, let's try to get the Finnish Panay incident. Yada yada. No, and well, I thought I reveal intel. Oh, there we go. Now we're decrypting them. <laughs> Yay, we got 112. Okay, so now we can go from civilian economy to early mobilization. What is the, what is bad? We get let. I mean, this is a no brainer, right? Okay, fuel gain per oil is bad, but Russia doesn't care about it. Why wouldn't you want to do this as early as possible? You get less consumer goods factories, you get faster construction speed, and I'm doing this in late 38. That's I'm an idiot. Um, all you need is 50% war support. Well, Okay, I guess I could have done it before this gas prompt, but oh, that gives construction speed as well, but not 20%. Yeah, okay, so I should have waited with that and taken this before. Well, we're talking... I mean, maybe I should prioritize this over even taking Timoshenko. But I only assigned one, two, three, four, five of these guys, which is very little. Oh, uh, yeah, I, okay. I admit, I should have done this earlier. And I couldn't have done this immediately, right? Jesus, could I could I have picked this? Did I pick the wrong one? No, you can only go up one step, right? Please tell me. You can only go up one step at a time. Jesus, it's gonna be so bad. Oh, focus again um so we can't do this so that's why we did this hey what's this one base stability 10 percent minus that is not good we get two military factories i can live without that this is one okay this is when we start in building mm, behead the snake I would get another operative if I did this. Oh. Uh, okay. Develop the rules. Oh, we get two civilian factories. I want this. I want two civilian factories. Uh, 
Um, decisions. Anything interesting? Recruitment in Europe. Okay, so this we need agents who can blend into the local community. Some of these can be found within our own country, but we will have to make a concerted effort to identify, recruit, and train them. Okay. Uh, Luxembourg? Oh! What? Wait. What? It looks like I could look for spies here. Oh, so I could. Oh, it's cool. This is new. Wh why is it? Create the Middle Eastern section. Create Asian section. All right. I mean, why does it say Luxembourg here? I don't. <laughs> I don't want to recruit. Right, if we have an open sl operative slot, which we don't, or do we? No, we don't. So, okay. I don't know, I don't understand, but maybe you can, I I'm, I'm gonna try to operate again a new German, uh, So what happened there? I'm trying to recruit this guy or Okay. Wait, what's happening now? So click to start decryption. No, I don't want to I don't care about Germany. Um all right. So is he recruiting? I think he's building network. So it's not... I don't understand, but... Hey. Okay. It seems like we're trying to recruit a German uh, agent here. I don't know. But what I don't understand is... Okay. Yeah, I'm not the best ever at this game. <laughs> Radio interception group. Cool. We now have four points. S okay, so cryptology. What the hell? Codes and ciphers have thus far proven to be the most effective way of establishing and protecting our spy network overseas. The government communication headquarters shall dedicate itself for the creation of a new and elaborate encryption methods that our enemies shall be helpless to decipher. Cryptology level, does that protect my own country? I thought that was uh, counterintelligence. So maybe this is how I see the German troops on the map. Machinist decryption. Decryption power. Cryptology level. Oh, wait. Decryption power. Wait. Oh, no, it is this. Has completed any separate radio interception. Okay, here we go. Okay. There we go. And we're gonna do the 1936 armor to use our Okmo sign bureau. And we're gonna build some more. Uh, I guess we are building a bit more. How many we have now? 69 factories. I, I want more civilian factories. I just feel that I, I might have made a huge mistake not upgrading that law earlier. I knew about it. I forgot about it. And now I suffer the consequences of my stupidity. Do I want to put... Here's an 80% province. Is that the mountain province up there? Where else do we have 80%? I mean, it's a bit risky to put it down here in case Germany breaks through. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. I don't think we're going to be that progressive. I think we're going to go with the Siberian 
stuff instead. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to hold the Caucasus. We'll see. Alright, October 38. We're about an hour in, and I think this is a good point to make a break. Uh, I might do some uh, adjustments, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.